This establishes a home point so that in the event that you need to use your fail safe return to home feature, uh, it knows where to come back and land. So right now what's nice is when you have like a thick grass like this and you're worried about your camera uh, and your gimbal freaking out because it can't, uh, it can't level itself with this thick grass, it's nice to have a, a good hard carrying case that you can set down in the grass and, and um, uh, give, your, give your camera a nice level spot. So to do this, what we'll do is we'll turn on the Phantom. We'll see the initializing light sequences. First off, so what we've already done for this location, I've calibrated the compass, and so you'll first see blinking yellow LEDs, and that just is, that shows that it's establishing a home point, and it's locating the GPS satellites. If you chose to take off now, what would happen is you'd be flying in attitude mode, which means that it'll drift with the wind, and like when you push forward, and then when you let go of the stick, it's going to continue to to drift forward. When you're flying GPS enabled, it allows you to uh, let go of your sticks and it'll it'll sit there and it will hover um, and then it also like I said it has a home point so that in the event you need it to return to home with the fail safe you can you, you, it will come back and it will land in this area uh, what, a couple good points to make you want to have a nice open area you don't want to have anything above you uh, when you're establishing your home point because you don't want it to like land on top of a garage or in a tree or something like that so once you see these steady blinking green LED lights, that means that you're good to go and you're, uh, you're GPS enabled. So we can start our recording here on the, on the GoPro. That's recording. We'll do the command sequence here to get the propeller spinning. Give it some throttle. And there you go. You can perform your basic flight test. Basic flight test consists of checking your your pitch, your roll, and your yaw. So as you can see, the Phantom is functioning normally there. We'll check our yaw. Everything looks good. Everything looks good there. So once you know that your Phantom is functioning, operating the way it should, you can fly it with confidence. You don't have to feel like not anything's gonna happen to it. Got a little bit of a rainstorm coming, so time to pack it in.